Students at an Aurora high school say they are living through a social media nightmare where censored nude photos are posted and victims have to pay to have them taken down. The account also allegedly sold the uncensored pictures as well. Aurora police are now investigating a possible sextortion case after some student journalists in the Rangeview Radio Review reported on the mystery Instagram account. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon spoke with one of those students. Student journalism at Rangeview High School. Let's write a story about it. Sparked an Aurora police investigation into a potential sextortion case. Try and figure out how many victims there are and potentially who's doing this. Ayan Naraika is one of the students who worked on the piece. Less than a week ago, some Instagram accounts started popping up and sharing censored illicit photos of high schoolers. There were about 100 in total, at least and about a dozen of them were from Rangeview. She says one person claims the picture of them was fake. It led to the possible thing that people's AI-generated nudes could be leaked. But we have to be careful for the victims and try and keep them safe. Aurora police can't confirm how many victims there could be or if the allegations involve several schools. It turned into sextortion because people were having to pay to get their photos taken down because those would also be shared with people uncensored. That was the thing that was so shocking to me was the demand for money and turning it into a business. State Senator Bob Gardner, who's worked on similar issues throughout his years in Colorado State Legislature, says these allegations are on a completely different level. We have existing laws uh, to deal with this, and it's very, very serious. Do you see any loopholes and any potential legislation that might be out there that needs to be closed? We may need to uh, visit some of our legislation to deal with the artificial intelligence aspect of this. I'll be talking to the uh, Colorado District Attorney's Council about uh, do they think that the statutes cover this? I hope that the person who shared all these photos gets jail time. While she and the rest of her team Make sure this story is told. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Good job to those young journalists. And the students say the Instagram account has been taken down. Aurora police are working with the school system. They tell us it's possible that these allegations could involve more than Rangeview High School. Going in depth tonight, Colorado has been cracking down on revenge porn for years now. In 2014, state lawmakers passed a bill making it illegal to distribute intimate and identifiable photos without consent, intended to cause serious emotional distress. Four years later, the state made some changes to that law, removing the emotional distress requirement and making it a criminal offense, even if there is no nudity in the photos. In 2019, Senator Bob Gardner sponsored a bill allowing victims of revenge porn to seek civil penalties up to $10,000.